Hey y'all, hey y'all, it's time for another DIY, so let's get right into what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a cowboy hat. This one that I'm gonna be using is from Hobby Lobby. It's $5, y'all, please go to Hobby Lobby. The other one that was in the bag is from Amazon, cost too much, but I'll be dropping it down below if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you. You're gonna need my handy dandy E6000 glue that I use all the time. That gold chain that you'll see me show you later, that is from Amazon, I have a link down below for it. You're gonna need a ribbon or some sort of cord, whichever one you like best, and you're going to need a crown. I decided to use the crown that has the open back because if you use the closed one it's not gonna fit around you're also going to need some scissors and that's about it so let's get right into it so you see there are two holes that are in the sides of this hat no the hat did not come like this my dad actually put some holes into it I'm not sure how exactly he did it but I can ask him and I'll put it down in the comment section down below so we're starting off with this gold fringe. You don't have to choose gold. Um, you could do like silver, any other color, but if you know me, you know I love gold. So we're starting off with that. We're actually gonna just glue it around the little outside bordering of the hat. So we're starting with this E6000 glue. Y'all are gonna see me struggle with trying to use this precision tip. I've never used it before. Y'all don't even waste the money or the time on using the precision tip. I just really ended up using the regular one at the end of the day. Anywho, but you're gonna see me struggle with it for a little bit. So you can see I start off by trying to use this precision tip and adding the glue to the hem of the fringe first and then gluing it on. That does work, but I didn't end up doing that later on, but this is a way that you can do it if it works best for you. I just say figure out whichever way works best for you and then go from there. And y'all, y'all will also see, if you do decide to go with the fringe, the same exact fringe that I got from Amazon, this was not long enough, and I'm pretty sure any other fringe you're gonna get isn't long enough. I believe this was one yard that I picked up, and I needed more than that. I didn't know what hat I was using at first. I was just buying stuff because this was a very last minute DIY. I made it the night before the day I needed to wear it. So, it was very last minute. But if you want your fringe to go all the way around, just buy two of these instead of one but since i only had one i just ended up centering it to where the the space that it wouldn't fit in was in the back and then you'll see what i did to fix that later on but you see here i decided or i figured out that it was best for me to just add the glue to the hat first and then put on the fringe y'all let me tell you one thing about this fringe it is heavy which isn't an issue for like actually wearing it, but it's an issue when you're actually trying to glue it. This video is sped up. This video is probably like 10, 15 minutes max, but y'all, this video took me over an hour to, or this hat took me over an hour to make. So don't underestimate the amount of time that you're gonna have to use while waiting, waiting for the glue to dry up before moving on to the next part, because if you don't wait in between adding the glue to each section, it will fall off. So make sure you take your time, make sure you're not rushing, put you on a good movie, watch some good YouTube, whatever you have to do, but don't rush this process because you don't want your fringe falling off at the end of the night.
and now you can see that we're coming to the end of this fringe it doesn't go all the way around but that's why I made it to where it went to the front in this space that you see in the back is just the back so it's not as important and if you think about if you're a female wearing it and or just anyone wearing it who has long hair it's probably gonna mess up your hair anywhere it gets stuck into it so instead of leaving it plain I decided to add these gem sheets this wasn't originally a part of my idea because like I said, I didn't know that it wouldn't have fit all the way. And y'all, I do not know where I got these gem sheets from. I've had these in my craft little closet bin area for years now. Probably had it since like middle school, elementary if even. But I'm thinking I got it from the Dollar Tree when it used to be a dollar store. <laughs> but I just added this on. I took two rows of it for each part, cut out two strips, two rows. And then I just glued it on. Same thing, E6000 glue and added it to the bag. I don't think I'll end up going back through and buying more fringe because like I said, I think, I believe that if I have my hair down, it would just add a whole lot of tangledness and all that, so I would rather it be this way. But if you want to buy more fringe, make sure you do, make sure you order two orders of it. So now that this part is done, I'm just gonna leave it sitting upside down to allow time for the E6000 glue to really adhere from the fringe to the hat. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna add on this little string. I thought to myself, I said, hey, I was wearing this to go to a party and it was gonna be hot outside. Maybe I may not want it on my head the entire time, but I don't wanna hold it throughout the day. So I got this little string. This is also from Hobby Lobby. Y'all do not make the decision that I made. I still have it on mine because I still think it's cute, but I probably should've went with the other string because this string that I decided to go with is actually more elastic. And I was thinking about it while before I decided to wear it like, hey, this is bouncing around so it's probably not the most secure it was still secure for the night but i would say go with something that isn't as elastic so it's not bouncing around but this still work for the time being so i just got the string i did two rows of it if that makes sense so that it would be nice and thick i pushed it through the bottom of the hat up to the top i did maybe like two or three knots to ensure that it wouldn't go through and also to make sure that I wouldn't be looking stupid and came through, I added some glue onto it. Now you see me just twisting the two strands together just so that they don't come apart throughout the night or throughout the day. So just twisting it all the way, all the way down. And this is also giving it more time for that E6000 glue to secure from the string to the hat so it doesn't fall through. This whole DIY is about making sure that these things do not fall through, y'all. It's very important if you don't want to be looking stupid with this DIY. Make sure you let that glue stick on, okay? Be patient with this one. Now you see I'm done twisting them together. I'm going to stick it back through the other side, tie it two, three times again, add that glue on, and I'm going to let it sit. Now you see we're sort of kind of halfway there. We have the fringe on and you can stop right here if you want to. However, I was wearing this for a party that I was going to, a Wild West party that I was going to, that just so happened to be the same weekend of my birthday. And if you know me, you know I like to be a little extra. I like to add a little bit more. So I decided to add the crown. You don't have to add the crown, but I did because it was my birthday and I felt like I was just the queen. So I had to add a crown to this. So like I said, I got the crown from Amazon. Make sure that you get a crown that doesn't go all the way around like the one I showed you earlier. You're gonna want one that opens in the back so that it can fit on the top of your hat. So now you see I'm just stretching it out, trying to see where it's gonna fit, how it's gonna fit, if it even does fit. And I was gonna be real mad if it didn't fit, so we was gonna make it fit somehow. So I'm just looking at the placement on where I want it to sit so that if the hat is on my head, you're still able to see the crown without it being like really awkward or anything. You see, I'm not sure if y'all saw, I added in a little mannequin head just to make this a little bit more stable while I was adding on the glue in the crown. So you see, I placed it. It is kind of crooked, I'm not even gonna lie, but it's fine for the time being. It was gonna be at night, ain't nobody gonna be studying the question on if it's crooked anywho's. 
if they want to say it's crooked, I'm going to ask them, hey, how about you do it next time for me? <laughs> so you see, I just add the glue to the actual crown part just to make sure that it's on there. Then I put the crown on the hat. I let it sit for a little bit. And then I added some more glue into the other sections that didn't already have glue just so that it's secure because y'all the crown cannot fall y'all already know the crown can tilt but it will never fall so you gotta just add that extra glue just to ensure that it doesn't mess up and just follow like how I did add the glue to the inside behind the crown and not to the outside under it because you don't want it to show or anything like that now you're just waiting 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 to let it dry and y'all here is the final product okay okay you see she's blinging she's passing the flash touch which i love if y'all know me it you know it's blinging if it passes the flash test turn that flash on see if you blinding yourself but i love the way it turned out the only thing that i would add maybe is to that headband part that where the hat reaches the brim maybe i'll add like a strip of gems right there i'm not sure because i don't want it to look too fedora looking but i really love the outcome of this it was so cute Y'all, if you want to see more pictures and videos of this, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Sincerely Dree. Of course, you can see more of me on there. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell to see more DIYs just like this. Y'all, I loved it. This is amazing. I would definitely do it again. And I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.